There on the cross, Jesus Christ had a crown of thorns smashed into his skull. They put nails through his hands and his feet. They spat on him, they beat him, they mocked him. On the cross, the loveliest person who entered this world was crucified there because you and I have done wrong things. Now on my board here, I've got some uh, famous prisons, okay? And I'm asking you today, people of Wigan, do you recognize any of these famous prisons? Guys, do you know any of these prisons over here? Um, the man with the glasses there, do you recognize any of these prisons? Anyone recognize any? What about this one? Do you know which uh, prison this one is? The gentleman with the beard, do you recognize this prison? I know you can hear me, sir. <laughs> can anyone recognize any of these famous prisons here on the board? This couple here, you look a nice couple. Will you help me out? Do you recognize any of these prisons? Alcatraz. Alcatraz, you're right. What about this one here, number three? That's strange ways, that's strange ways, okay, in Manchester. Those of you going by and we're gonna ask you, do you recognize any of these famous prisons? What about this one? This one's uh, very close to home. Do you know what that one is? In London. Do you recognize it, sir? The Tower of London, that one is. That's strange ways, okay? Those of you going by, I'm asking you, do you recognize any of these famous prisons? What's number one? Alcatraz, this lady's right, she knows. Yeah, what about number three? Do you know that one? Strange ways. You've not been there, have you? Two times. You are, haven't you? All right, okay. At least you're out, that's the main thing. What that? You what? What was that, sir? That's the Tower of London, you're right, sir. Exactly, yeah. What about this one? This is a harder one. I'm asking you, do you recognize these prisons? Number four, does anyone know that one? In Northern Ireland. That is the maze prison. Okay, number five, no one ever gets this one right. If anyone gets this one right today, I'll be blown away. In fact, one man did today, actually. Do you know what number five is? That's Robin Island in South Africa, Nelson Mandela went there. So I've asked you people in Wigan today, do you recognize any of these prisons? Well, here's the big question that really matters. Do you recognize that every single one of us lives in a prison? Have thought about that. Every single one of us has addictions, perhaps We've got skeletons in the closet. Maybe you can't put the bottle down. Perhaps you've got the addictions of a, a, a broken heart. Maybe that's a chain or a prison you live in. It hurts, someone's really broke your heart and you find it hard to, to trust people. One second, sorry. Hey, what about this one? Maybe you might have the chains of a, 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 an addiction or a drug, but there's one chain for every single one of us. There's one prison that we all carry. Do you know what it is? Anyone guess what it is? It's death. As I said before, 10 out of 10 people die. And none of us are gonna get out of that. There's no way, is there anyone today who's gonna to escape your grave? Is there anyone today who can look me straight in the face and tell me you'll never die? We're not, we're all going there. We've all got a one-way ticket to death. So this is why we need a man called Jesus. And Jesus said this, if the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Jesus wasn't playing games when he said, I can set you free from your addictions, from your drugs, from your pain, but more importantly, from your grave. On the cross, Jesus Christ died on the cross. What happened? They put him in a tomb. One day went by, stillness. Two days went by, stillness. But what happened on the third day? He rose this lady's right. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And that's really, really important. Because one day I'm gonna die, and I want to know that I'm gonna raise myself back from the dead. But I can't do it myself. That's why I need my friend Jesus. My dear friends, you need Jesus too. And he says, if anyone comes to me, I won't cast you out. If anyone comes to me, I'll give you forgiveness of sin and I'll beat your grave. Would you like to think about that today? Yeah. You'd be very wise to think about. If anyone wants to take a portion of the Bible, just take it from my hand for free. Read these things for yourself. You'll find these words. Thank you very much. You'll find these words about eternal life. Don't just dismiss these things. Think about it, seriously. What's that? England Prison. England. Oh, Hindley, yeah, no, Hindley. No, no, no. Yeah, Hindley Prison, you're right, I haven't got that one. There's another one I could have put on, yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one. Can I give you a little leaflet, sir? I'll look at that and read that, sir. Yeah. Take care, lovely to chat to you, sir. Thank you for your time. used to live in Wigan for five years, so I've come to talk to the people of Wigan about the most important thing in the world. What do you think I've come to talk to you about today? What do you think? A man shouting loudly on the street, what do you think I've come to talk to you about today? I've come to talk to you about Jesus, the God who loves you, the one who died on a cross for your sins. What do you think when I say that word? What do you think when you see a fellow like me shouting about Jesus? What do you think about that? Maybe you think nothing. Maybe you think shut up. Maybe you think actually, I'd like to hear more about this. 
But I'm out here today to talk to you about Jesus. Let me ask you another question. What's the best news that you could ever hear in the world? If I could give you the best news in the world, what would it be? What about if uh, you won the lottery? Would that be good news? Imagine you today woke up and you won the lottery and got millions and millions of pounds. That would be good news. Perhaps you've got a health condition and you just love to wake up without that. Maybe there's someone going by and you're on desperate.com. You're desperate to get a boyfriend. You're desperate to get a girlfriend. It'd be great news if you met the one. Would that be the best news? I'll give you the best news you could ever hear. You could have your grave defeated. You could have your sins forgiven. You could have peace with God. And it's all through the name of Jesus Christ. Would you like that for yourself? Here's a shocking statistic that you never ever thought about before. Did you know this? 10 out of 10 people die. Is that right or is it wrong? When I say 10 out of 10 people die, am I talking rubbish? It's true, isn't it? 150,000 people die every 24 hours. And I'll tell you something, they all had plans for next week. It's true, isn't it? None of us know when we're gonna go. We've all got a friend who died far too young. We all know someone who shocked us and they went into eternity. So my question to you is, when it's your turn, when it's my turn, do I have an answer to my grave? I'm asking you today, people of Wigan, do you have an answer to your grave? Do you have a hope for when you die? Because the Son of God, Jesus Christ, rose from the dead and he says, any man, any woman who comes to me, puts their trust in me, I'll give them eternal life. Some of you are laughing at me. Some of you think I'm odd. Some of you think I'm crazy. But I'm telling you today, there's a God who loves you. The Bible says he knows the very numbers of hairs on your head. Now for some of us, me included, it wouldn't take very long to count our hairs. We haven't got many. But the point is this, God knows everything about you. He knows how many hairs you've got on your head. He knows the worries that you have. He knows the pain that you carry. He knows everything about you. And this God wants a relationship with you. What goes through your mind as I tell you that? The God of the universe wants a relationship with you. Well, what goes through your mind when you hear that? You might think, no one wants a relationship with me. I can't last in a relationship for a week. Well, the God of the universe wants to be friends with you. And if you want to know, no one can say in this world there's no one who's ever loved me. If you want evidence that there's someone who loved you, just look at the cross. Is there anyone going by today in Wigan who's ever told a lie? You told a lie, lads? Is there anyone in Wigan today going by who's ever lost their temper? You know, really got aggressive? Anyone? Is there anyone in Wigan today who's maybe committed adultery? You've cheated. You've had sex outside of marriage. Is there anyone today in Wigan who's done those things? The truth is this, we're sinners, aren't we? I'm not a nice person, you're not a nice person really, when you look at your heart. And that's why we need Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who can clothe us in his righteousness. His perfection can be given to you as a gift, but you have to come and you have to ask for it. You might not understand it all. You might not understand this message, but I'm telling you today that there is a God who loves you deeply and wants a friendship with you.